okay guys welcome to this video it's been quite some time i haven't created any new video content on this channel and i think now since decentraland has grown quite a bit it would probably make sense to start doing more content on key topics such as building on your land i mean seriously guys aren't you tired of owning land and not being able to put anything onto that land or do you actually want to do it but you feel like it's too difficult it probably takes a lot of programming and you are not able to learn that kind of stuff are you in that position today well a lot of us are in that position and frankly speaking this is exactly how i felt but the thing is the truth is you can build stuff inside the central land your land does not have to look empty and uh, i think you can actually pick up a quite important skills going into the future i think 3d design and um I think this is actually going to matter in the future so this is not time wasted even if you pick up a little bit of these skills this will be really helpful and this is exactly what i'm doing and uh, today in this tutorial i want to show you something like that is that is really basic i mean there is we are not going to design anything it, but what i want to do here and what i want to achieve is that i want you to overcome that by your barrier that fear of putting up a very basic object on top of your land in the central land like imagine if you could just put up a basic cube onto your land and have the certainty that if you would put a little bit more effort into it it wouldn't have to be just a cube and maybe it could be a whole building well I don't know if this resonates with you but I think there is a lot of you guys out there who would really benefit from going through this very fundamental basic process of creating or loading something into blender which is a free tool an amazing free software export that object and then re-import it inside the central land and show it on your land so this is exactly what we are going to do next and uh, i encourage every single one of you who is a landowner in the central land today to just go through that process if you have never done anything like this before and take it from there you know once you've done it take it from there if you want to take it any further but frankly speaking today if you just launch a blender tutorial of any type even the basic ones it's very overwhelming like blender is is a great tool but you will not learn it like in a day or in a week you need to allocate time to learning blender like you need to come to peace with the thought that if you do a little bit of learning every other day that over time you will actually have enough of a skill set to build something really cool and um, I'm, I'm getting there right now I'm in that position I'm almost there and, it, and it's a great feeling so today I think I'm in the position to teach new guys to you know start at the very basics like at at step number one so let's do step number one right now enough of the talking so if you download blender and go to file new general this is the view that you are going to see and uh, I'm not going to show you how to design anything on here today and I'm not going to show you how to use the software or what is different sections represent or me and I think frankly speaking there are a lot of great tutorials on that but I think what I want to do is to just take this basic object that is automatically loaded into blender and uh, bring it here onto my land I have nothing on my land right now usually there is my three land building on top of it but for the, this tutorial I removed everything so this is how the land looks for a lot of you guys let's put that basic cube onto this land is it complicated no it's not it's very simple so let's do it so here is the object we go to file export and we select this file format here gltf2 this is what we are selecting nothing else just this boom now make sure 
that you select the correct format. We're just going to select the first option. There are two more options. They are not important right now. Just choose the first. There is a, a few settings. There are a few settings here, but for this first tutorial, none of these are important. I'm just showing all of them real quick so that if you have different default settings, you might want to try these. I think these are default settings, but actually for this export, it wouldn't matter. The only thing that you probably need to know right now is that very first option. Uh, since we only have one object in this scene, it doesn't matter if you take that box or not, but if you would have two, this would basically mean either export everything or just the ones that you have selected. So let's just click here for the sake of it and only export the object that we have selected, which is only, there is only one object, so it doesn't matter. So let's give it a name. As you can see, I have done this video already twice before, so it's gonna be box three. <laughs> Uh, now we have exported this object from Blender in a specific format directly onto my desktop. Is it here? The other two attempts. There must be a third one and here it is. So this is our cube and what we do now, we switch over to the central end and if you have noticed there is a section called Builder on top of here, on top, on, on top, on top of the site click on Builder in the menu and now normally if everything goes right you should be able to see the scenes that you have currently deployed uh, let me quickly this is from the previous attempt of creating the video so let me quickly unpublish it so that we just so that we have the full sequence of actions for this tutorial video uh, so what you do is you click on the plus to create a new scene. Let's call it new scene box. Next. Now you select the size of that scene. Now my land has the size of three by one. If you have only one land, it would be one by one. If um, sometimes it, it could also be like one by three if your land is laid out differently. So for me, it's three times one. I create the scene now. All right, all right, all right, all right. It takes a bit. So here is our empty scene. And now we want to place that cube that we have on the desktop onto this land. Now for that, you create a new asset pack and then you drag and drop that box inside the builder tool. You import the asset. Maybe rename this to box three, whatever you want to call it. And now the object is officially imported from Blender into the central land, right here. And if you, if you drag or and drop that box, or if you just click on it, you will place it onto your land. You may want to adjust it a little bit. And now if you click on publish, publish to land then you select your land and now you realize what why I had to unpublish the previous scene because if you have something published on it you cannot publish over it you have to have the land being available and then you continue publish and now if you don't get stuck at this level sometimes you have to refresh and redo it again but normally you can just jump in if you don't have the the central land window open already which we do and now if i reload the page i should have a cube in the middle of my land let's see if this actually works now waiting a little bit here we go let's see exciting times haha <laughs> As expected, ladies and gentlemen, we have our cube here that we've just had inside Blender. We have it now on our land. Amazing, right? Now, the thing is, you don't probably realize how important that is because it doesn't have to be a cube. It could be anything else. It could be anything else, really. Like the building that you see uh, behind me right there, it's been done in Blender. And it was a cube at first. And then it was shaped and changed 
and materials were applied to it to create a building. So you can learn that stuff and you can put stuff on your land without programming just by exporting and importing objects. And uh, I think this is a great first tutorial if you have never done this. And then in later tutorials, I will show you how to make walls that are non-penetrable, how to apply materials, how to change the form of these objects. Um, really one step at a time, you know, no rush. I think it's important, especially at the beginning, to just really um, take it one step at a time, get the basic skill sets in place, and then and then start going for the more complex tutorials you see on YouTube. All right, guys, I think this has been quite a long recording already. Let's stop right here, and I see you guys sometime soon in another video, I hope. Take it easy.